When I look at people's budgets and affordability, which factors in rising cost of living over time, it factors in the loan amount that they have to carry to live in a property that is functional to raise a family in. And the average loan amount does increase over time. So if it increases at a rate which exceeds the rate of income growth, then naturally the only way to reach equilibrium between even just the decision of renting versus owning is for interest rates to drop. And with the numbers that I've done, it's it's more or less around four and a half percent. So in other words, if interest rates at the pump, right, I'm not talking about the OCR, but if interest rates on the mortgage was four and a half percent, that works because generally people will pay, um, people will pay the same amount to rent a property versus own the property if it's about 80. So if the cost of borrowing 80 of the purchase price, assuming a finance is equal to the rent that you're paying, that's kind of neutral. And for that to balance out at the moment, I'm guessing it's probably around about that four and a half percent mark. So I, I kind of look for that as it's probably neutral in terms of positive or negative pressure on house prices.